We're drifting through the high plains of eastern New Mexico to hunt the fastest game species on our continent. That's a, that's a nice buck. Yeah. Antelope, speed goats, pronghorn, no matter what you call them, these four-legged rocket ships are a rite of passage for young hunters. And this week, my son Nate joins me as we try to get within range of a mature buck. Good looking buck. It's a father and son hunt for the greatest plains game of North America on this Sporting Classics. Some adventures are found at the crossroads of epic and unforgettable, and they're best enjoyed with a close friend, a companion who cherishes the sporting life just as much as you do. It's someone who knows the magic contained in the simple phrase, opening day, and who understands that the words hunter and conservationist are one and the same, for we've been giving back for generations and sharing the outdoors with someone who celebrates the history, the art, and the romance of this way of life makes for a friendship to last the ages. One where the sound of a snickering horse, the crackling of a mountain campfire, or the whiff of gunpowder will transport you to that same stirring part of the soul. Welcome to Sporting Classics, that old trusted friend who shares your love of adventure and reminds you of the greatest days of your life. That's a mature buck, real black. Yeah, that's a real good goat. Yeah, he's really pretty buck. He's the best buck we've seen this morning. You have to be patient because you're definitely not going to want to shoot the first one you see. It normally seem like it's like, oh, it's a big bun. It's a buck. Let's, let's shoot that one first. But just be patient and the big ones will come. It's like they know they have to cross the road. It's like, all right. It's just a really handsome animal. Yep, yeah, he is pretty. Pretty, pretty. Well, he's been recorded. We got him on camera. I'll tell you what, to have a place where you can turn down bucks of that caliber, though, that's just, that's not common. I've always loved pronghorn hunting, and I've done, I don't know, 20, 25 pronghorn hunts over the years, and they're always just fun. It's a social activity. You know, you're riding around, you're glassing a lot of country. Great, great opportunity to take kids and you always are seeing game. You know, there's always pronghorn around, and that's really the, the fun of the whole deal. And it's just a chance to really improve your hunting skills, your stalking skills, a lot of glassing. You want to cover big, vast country. So it's just a really fun, engaging hunt. That's funky. Look at that, it just goes straight forward. How weird. We've been hunting here on a ranch that's between Vaughn and Santa Rosa, New Mexico. It's a ranch I've been hunting on for several years. It's been a good one. It's uh, 25,000 acres, and, uh, and we're the only ones on the ranch, so we can be a little bit patient and wait for the opportunity to make a move and, and get on these animals. Kind of wavy, see that? He's cool looking, huh? Yeah, sort of bent main he, beam. He's even on both sides, though. He's, he's cool. I think he'd be really cool, cool buck, but it's still so early in this dang hunt. He's unique, that's for sure. saw a bunch of bucks, a lot of does, we saw a lot of herds, and they weren't they weren't getting too spooked, which was easier to easier on us to kind of find them. Good problems on that buck. Yeah, he's pretty. But they were they're everywhere, there's so much here to do, there's so much here to see. And more importantly, there's so much here to hunt. So that was that was a big plus about this trip. Pretty buck, got good prongs, he's just not a giant. Yeah. He's just he's young. Really just shooting. He's young. Sure is a nice spot though, isn't it? Yeah. Got That's some. the thing is, you got these little hot holes like this. Yeah. You can drive down through here, not see them, and turn around and come back, and there they are. Yeah, they are. They just pop out and over. That's nice though, it has some terrain. You know, this country produces some really good antelope. We've killed some Boone and Crockett bucks on this ranch. Uh, it's got good numbers of antelope, so we're kind of able to, to run and gun and look at a lot of them and try to take off our better bucks. And, and we're always leaving some great bucks for next year. 
Ideal habitat and careful management policies are why Dan gets hunters on big bucks every fall. Just one year earlier, it was young versus old when Nate's twin brother Luke made a stock on a mature pronghorn for his antelope baptism. Seen a buck down in a draw and we were driving to try to get a better look at him. And another buck was kind of coming across there and uh, you know we got out and did a little stock and, and Chris and Luke kind of moved up. And He's not nervous yet. Ready? Here we go. This thing is an old warrior. Scars all over him, busted off tips and stuff like that. There you go. You can do this, buddy. Right here. And I was just shaking so much because I was like, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. There you go. OK, top of the back, all right? Top of the back, buddy. Easy does it. He took like five or six steps, did it, loaded one more in, shot him again. And then he was gone. Lights out. Boom! Oh, nice shot, dude! Well done! You smoked him, buddy. Hey, hey, give me five. That's a heck yes. of a shot, man. That is a heck of a shot. Yeah! Tips are busted off. His prongs are busted up. He's got scars all over his back. This is the absolute best animal to take right here. Old, old, mature buck. That's exactly what you want to get. He shot an antelope and just, he was so excited and so happy. and. You know, you could tell he really enjoyed it, enjoyed hunting, enjoyed being out here. It was fun to see that. Oh. Man, congratulations. Thank nice you. Job. So I kind of just like, I wanted to get in on it. I wanted to get, get to know what it's like to finally shoot a pronghorn and finally experience what it's like to hunt them. So he's the one on the left. He's a pretty buck, yeah, he's the one on the left. He's yeah, down. yeah. That's a, that's a nice buck. Yeah. So I couldn't wait for Nate to come down because he had heard all the stories from Luke, his twin, so his chance was up and batter up. I think what we could do is leave him for now. He, he's not going anywhere. Right. You're on deck, Mr. Nate. Winchester Model 70, the Rifleman's Rifle. Sporting Classics is powered by Ram Trucks, the Ram 1500, Motor Trend's 2019 Truck of the Year. Winchester, the American legend. Winchester Repeating Arms. Walther, powered performance. Pulsar, image, quality. Negrini Cases, ultra light, ultra strong. The pinnacle of Italian design and technology and by Safari Club International. Join SCI today for a chance to win a waterfowl hunt at the North Platte Outpost. In the open country of eastern New Mexico, where the rolling terrain makes near-perfect habitat for pronghorn, my son Nate and I were hunting with Dan Bishop, the owner of Cola Blanca Outfitters. You know, Dan spends a lot of time on these ranches. He's out here scouting all sorts of different ranches that he has hunting leases on. So he's really kind of taking inventory. He's looking at what's out there. But once you do this inventory, once you kind of get your, your bearings as to what's on the ranch, the time you're there, you make a plan, you go after it. And that's really a great way to hunt. Oh, on toes. They're coming here to see the new 2018 Ram pickup truck. Girls are impressed. They are, look at that. There's not one buck in that entire thing. He's coming. He's, he's coming. Behind he's, him. Where'd he go? 25, 30 does right there. Here he is. See there, Nice buck. He's got really, that's a nice, really strong prongs. Nice, nice, him. nice buck. Well, yeah. All right, Nate, if you don't, if you don't want him, I do. <laughs> that's a nice goat. Take a peek. You can see him. 
Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh yeah. He's really, he's really heavy. Oh, there's another buck. Oh yeah, far right. Another buck came up. Oh. Pretty good buck too. Yeah, they're both really heavy. They're both pretty even. Yeah. He's a little narrower, the one on the right, but he's got deep prongs, you're right. Good, we got a couple of good bucks yeah. in here. Add them to the hit list. We can list. drive down later and just get on them. Bro. Add them to the hit list. So how many acres is this ranch? It's got 25,000. 25,000, wow. You've only, yeah, I can't even count how many bucks we've seen. We've seen a lot of bucks. So the main ingredient to this entire hunt was basically the ram. The ram got us everywhere it wanted to and more. I tell you what, cruising around in the new 2018 Ram, I mean, what a chariot. This thing is so smooth. You can raise it up, you can lower it down. When you're going through the rough stuff, bring it up, clears that, stiffens up that suspension a little bit, just clears everything. Just a magnificent ride, super smooth. And just the comfort inside is, is amazing. It's like, it's like a premium car, like a luxury car inside, and yet it's tough as nails. You can haul the world in it and it'll go anywhere. And it's, it's my passport to an awful lot of adventure. The pronghorn is North America's fastest land animal. It's speed the result of an arms race from long ago. For millions of years, pronghorn were the preferred table fare of the now extinct North American cheetah. Today, pronghorn no longer have to fear the cheetah, but no one told them that, and they remain hardwired to be on the lookout for their long extinct foe. This same race for life and death is played out every day on the plains of Africa, where distant cousins of the North American cheetah chase antelope that are now only related to pronghorn by name. Here, Nate and his twin brother Luke were able to witness this struggle between predator and prey firsthand in Namibia, where they each took their very first antelope. All right, the ram's coming from the left now. You see him coming? Yeah. See his horse coming? All right, he's gonna come. Get ready, I'll stop him. You feeling good? Nice shot. Nice Good. shot. <laughs> He's down. Good job. Way to go, buddy. Shot a beautiful ram, made a great shot on it. To see them make good shots, embrace it, become good sportsmen. People understand what the role of hunting is in conservation. That's a beauty ram. Perfect shot. You know, to me, that's an important legacy, and, and that's something that I want to be able to do with my sons for the rest of my life. Nate put a great ram on the ground for his first big game trophy but the thick cover made his stock relatively easy. For this Plains game hunt, we were going to have to move into range through open country. First night we went out, we basically took inventory on what we could shoot and what we didn't have. And so we went out to lunch and we came back and we finally decided this one buck and his doe. That's, That's him. That's pretty heavy. That's him. Lots of mass, beautiful heart shape. You know, we knew he was a buck we'd be really happy with and he only had one doe with him. And anytime you can get just a couple of sets of eyes for a stalk, that sure beats a big herd, you know. We just let him go over the hill. And we watched him and watched him. They ran over a ledge, then they went down a ravine, and then finally came back up again. And this is over a span of probably a half hour, 45 minutes, we just watched him. Then they finally went over the next ridge, which gave us an opportunity to get a stalk on him. They, they ran, they trotted over and then ran down to the left, out of sight. So the terrain here in south central New Mexico is also, it's just really, again, it, the hills and everything else that just makes stalking so much easier. So it's not just proning everywhere and there's actual places to hide behind and actual terrain. We come over that, we should be about 250. They just went over that little bit of a ledge there. And we worked our way up, just kind of fished our way up the slope. Stay behind me. We kept going from Troya to Troya to Troya. Thinking they were gonna be just over, and they were. Chamber, go ahead and chamber. There he is, he's looking at us, he sees us, not really sure what we are. 212. Put it right on him. 212. Winchester XPR, experience performance. I fell in love with Sporting Classics magazine from the first time I opened it because it's just so different. 
I thought it was a magazine created just for me. When it arrives, it's just like Christmas morning as a child. There's just magic to the surprises you'll find inside the cover. I take it with me everywhere. And I mean everywhere. kept going from Troya to Troya to Troya. Thinking they were gonna be just over, and they were. Chamber, go ahead and chamber. There he is, he's looking at us, he sees us, not really sure what we are. 212. Put it right on me. 212. Right on the point of the shoulder. They got on the shooting sticks, got steadied up. Chris is right there watching. I gave him the range, 220 yards. Finally got ready, I put my elbow, elbow down on the knee, got really steady, and took the first shot. Shot left. Chamber all around. It looked like he hit him, weren't sure. I swear I hit him. I swear I hit him. Hang on, if he stops. He ran off a little bit. Stopped, and God gave us a miracle. Gives him one more broadside shot. I said, buddy, top of the back. So I kind of just settled my nerves after the first shot. Breathe in, half breathe out, and... Got him! Nice shot! Beautiful! <laughs> Yes. Well done, my man. It was such a great moment that I started shaking. <laughs> it's a nice buck. I'm shaking. You should be. That's a nice buck. The fact that he stopped again was uh, Ooh, was cool. That's a miracle from God right there. Well, you settled your nerves down, though. That was a nice shot. That's a 260-yard shot. You were right on top of the back, huh? Oh. Well done, man. And he's just beaming. I mean, it's it's so much fun to go hunt with a son, just to see yourself in them. I mean, this is how you were at that age when you made a great shot, when you took an animal, and just that connection, that lineage of family after family after family, just connection uh, was, was really epic. I mean, that was really something that will live with me for a long time. Congrats, my man. Wow. Look at that. I mean, that's great mass all the way up, great cutters, just nice curve in, nothing broken off, nothing chipped. Good animal. Beautiful cape on him. That, my friend, is a home run right there. Well done. And just a gorgeous, gorgeous buck for a first buck, especially. But really, for anybody, that's a, a fantastic buck. Oh, look at this. A bit rough. Look at this. You hit him on the first shot. <laughs> front, front of the shoulder, right there. Front of the shoulder. So maybe it wasn't a warning shot. <laughs> wow. This is just so much fun. Yeah, I'm so excited about this. You know, I've, I've said to a lot of people, I don't really care if you play football or baseball. I'm glad that you guys do and basketball, etc. But if you didn't hunt, I'd have to give you away. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, heavy, really nice mature buck. And it was, it was fun. With Nate's first pronghorn down, it was my turn to get behind the rifle and it felt like this ranch had a potential shooter around every bend. Good looking buck, really good looking buck. Mmm, tempting. It goes over that little bit of a knoll there, I just sprint right up there and be right on top of him. He's just a little bit young, a little bit thin. Got some more going off here. That's fun, I love hunting pronghorn. Love hunting pronghorn. You never know. Sometimes you get them just to come walking right up to you. Yeah, that was a hoot. Good stuff. It's the smell of a fire in hunting camp. It's the sound of a river after a successful hunt. It's the sight of a sunrise and a boy and a dog in a duck blind. And this is the sight and sound of someone on Capitol Hill fighting to protect all of it. Someone from SCI. SCI first.
for hunters. Introducing the Hot Series of Box Blinds. Insulated steel panels provide unmatched thermal, scent, and noise control and are backed by a limited lifetime warranty, so your investment will last in the field for years to come. All new Box Blinds by Hawk. Sporting Classics has gone digital. Now you can experience the heritage, the romance, and the art of hunting and fishing every day for free with Sporting Classics Daily. And enjoy stunning world-renowned photography by following us on Instagram at Sporting Classics TV. Sporting Classics is powered by Ram Trucks, the Ram 1500, Motor Trends 2019 Truck of the Year, Winchester, the American Legend, Winchester Repeating Arms, Walther, Powered Performance, Sightmark, Make Your Mark, Negrini Cases, Ultra Light, Ultra Strong, the pinnacle of Italian design and technology, and by John Burl's High Adventure Company, operators of the finest sporting lodges worldwide. a lot of eyeballs right there. Gotta be a good buck in that bunch. There we go. Nice buck. Mmm, so tempting. I tell you what, that is a nice buck. He's just a little thin on top. Mmm. Hey, that's tempting. That's such a nice buck. I mean, easy poke right there. <laughs> Oh, how fun is that? That's so much fun. All right. Let's go find Mr. Big. Dan and I were hunting a ranch in central New Mexico that was just loaded with pronghorn. But there were two bucks that caught our eye the night before. So on the final morning of the hunt, Dan and I were on the lookout for one of those two brutes. So the next day, come out winding around, winding around, and sure enough, we find the big group. It's one of those, there he is. I mean, that's clearly the, the two bucks. Right there. I think that's the one we're looking for. Over the bottom of the hill? Yep. Early in the morning, the fog had sort of lifted off and, and just kind of puffy clouds everywhere. And, and these, these antelope were really calm. They weren't, they hadn't been pressured. They hadn't been pushed. You know, we got on him. We were able to work through the choyas pretty good. That's a nice buck, man. That's a nice buck. This is the group from yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. two bucks. Yeah, those two nice bucks. One's just a little bit better than the other one, though, isn't it? Let's get right up here. Had a little bit of cover. He got up on a side hill. He was looking at us. The whole herd was watching us. Okay, here we go. And so we just set up, worked our way in, got about 300, 310 yards away. What's that range? Okay, the range's out. We finally picked out their the two good bucks, the best one was to the right. One on the right, about three? 304. Okay. 304. We ranged him 305. Chris got steadied up and got on him and just. Okay. He's quartering at me. Quartering to the left, that's the one. Yeah. All right, got it. Okay. 304. Okay, I got him. That's him. Here we go. Oh, he <laughs> planted. <laughs> wow. Bada bing, man. Good looking buck. Nice to catch up to him after yesterday, huh? There you go. Yeah. Good stuff, oh, man. Nice shot. Give me that job. Give me a hug, man. Good to be with uh, you. Good job, guys. That's a good way to end it. Boom. Drop to the shot. That Winchester Model 70, the stainless composite, I mean, it is just a tack driver. 305 yard shot right on him, and boom, that thing is down and out. And of course, the Winchester ammo is legendary. The, the Supreme is classic, it's the best in class. So it's one of those combinations where you can have the rifle, you can have the ammo, all brought to you by Winchester, and it worked. Look at there. Yes. He's an old buck, isn't he? <laughs> he is an old gnarly buck, look at that. I mean, look at the look at the rub patches on here. He's an old buck. That's like classic. He's, he's seen a couple of things. That's exactly the one you want to take out of the herd right there. He's all weathered up. That's nice. I love taking old critters, man, that's the trophy. It was a great buck. We were pretty excited to get our hands on him and, and see the age on that buck. And uh, he'd been beat up and scarred up, and just a terrific old buck to kill on this on this hunt. He's a beast, gnarly old beast right there. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Thanks, pal. You're the best, man. Doctor Pronghorn, hey buddy. <laughs>